Hello, Zion family. This is Pastor Beckham. Welcome to our uh, session on hope, help, hope, and healing for hard times. And our theme for today is ready. We have our guest presenter here today. She's certainly not a guest, but we thank God for her being with us. Uh, Reverend Sharon Watson, one of our own, and she has an awesome testimony to share with our theme being ready. You know, so often in life we, we, we do things our way. And then there comes a point in time where, you know, we're, we're ready to stop doing life our way and, 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 and to, to trust God's way. And, and that never happens until we're willing, or until, until we become ready, you know, and that's the point when we can finally get to that point where we say, yes, God, I'm ready. And then we, we go on from life from there. So thank God for uh, this awesome woman of God who's going to share her testimony of how, uh, what ready meant to her. So thank you for being with us. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Hello, Zion. Okay, so you can go ahead. You can go and share your testimony with us. Okay. Uh, hello, Zion. My testimony is about being ready. And I have several testimonies, but I will keep it down to one. We are on a time limit. Um, I didn't, uh, I'm going to talk about before I decided to officially preach. And that was a very, very long journey for me, a very long process. And unfortunately, Pastor, I didn't come willingly. I didn't. But I had a call on my life basically from birth. And my testimony is when I was maybe in my early 40s, mid 40s, uh, I had what they call nodules on my vocal cords and I could no longer sing anymore. So I had to have surgery to get those removed. And before I had the surgery, um, I was minister of music, prosperous minister of music, prosperous, prospering in the ministry, shall I say. Do it very, very well, very proud of my ministry. But to me, it was because of me and not because of God. And so as I went in for the surgery, the doctor told me I would be up and ready to go back to work in 30 days, about, about a month. And after I had the surgery, 30 days came and went and I still couldn't talk. I still couldn't sing. Two months went by, I still couldn't talk. I couldn't sing. It was actually, nine months after the surgery before I could just even barely whisper. Pieces of my voice would come back and most of it, it was just gone. And I just knew I would never be able to sing, speak, preach, anything with my voice ever again. I was like that. I thought 10% that this wouldn't survive this particular surgery. But all while I was on the bed and couldn't talk and had to depend on my sister and other means to speak for me. I had to write notes, ring bells. People thought I was mentally retarded when I went to a, a restaurant or whatever because I couldn't speak. All while I was on my bed and God was speaking to me and asking me, will you preach for me now? Will you speak for me now? And I'm still kicking the prick, still, nope, 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 nope. I'm not going to do it. That's not me. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. But as my voice started coming back and I started praying and asking God, well, God, if you give me my voice back, if you just let me speak, sing one more time, I'll preach, I'll sing, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Just give me my voice back, God. And again, you know, God was listening, but he didn't give it back to me quickly. Let me just put it like that. So as months and time went on, almost maybe about a year, a year and a half, voice started coming back. Couldn't really sing really good. Still could play the piano, but I couldn't really sing, which is my first love. And, you know, it just got to the point where I just said, Lord, I surrender. I give myself to you. I'm committed. I'll be faithful. I won't be late. I'll just be on time. Whatever you want, want me to do, just give me my voice back. And over time, he did give me my voice back. And he put me in a little teeny, weeny, small hole in the wall church. <laughs> I was a big fall for me. But I was really, really grateful for that little church because it taught me to rely and depend on God 
solely on God. And it's not about the size of the church or where you are. You surrender your gifts and whatever God has called you to be to him and he'll work out the de details. I needed to be humbled at that time in my life. God needed to humble me. And that he did. Pastor Beckham. <laughs> Amen. So, so it sounds like God made you ready or, or you know, you weren't ready for some time. It took you quite a while to be ready, but what is, was it the pain of your circumstances that finally broke you to be ready? Or? I pass it back up. To be honest, I was always ready. I was just afraid and felt like I wasn't worthy to be a female preacher. And in my day, coming up in the 70s, and so, you know, women, it just was unheard of for women to preach. It was very few female preachers. And then just the responsibility of, oh, wow, I'm a preacher. I can't do this anymore. I can't do that. And it was a big sacrifice and a big battle for me. But I was, I was always ready. I was just stubborn, Pastor. Very, very stubborn. And the Lord had all asked me nicely for many years to do it, and I wouldn't do it. But he made me reach my breaking point and let me know that he's in control. Nothing that I have, any gift that I have, any ability that I have, Pastor. It all belongs to God. And that, 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 it broke me. <laughs> yes. it, it, it broke me. It broke me. I felt like Paul kicking against the pricks. And God told Paul, why are you kicking against the pricks? You're not going to win kicking against the cactus. And that's yes, what I was yes, doing. Yes. I was yes. doing it. So God had his way, even though it was a painful way. It was a painful journey. It was a scary journey. But he got my attention and he broke me and, and put me on the right path. So it was basically surrender, Pastor. It yes, was a surrendering yes. for me. Yes, it yes, was no more yes. fighting and kicking. It was, God, I surrender. And I sincerely surrendered, not just said the words, but sincerely surrendered. And my life turned around drastically. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I know you could share a lot more of your testimony with thanks yeah. for and how, how God made you ready and, and the brokenness. I, I believe the brokenness is a part of the process that, that unfortunately or fortunately, it, it may be unavoidable for us if we want to really follow God, that he, he breaks us. Yes, yes, he'll break us, he'll break us, and, and just like the, the, pot, the potter's house, he'll mold us all over again. The clay yes. can be a little marred. It can be a little cut up or broken up or has some little cracks and crevices in it. But God will take that clay and put it back on the potter's wheel and make it all over again for whatever mm. purpose he chooses. So I'm definitely uh, a person that was put back on the potter's wheel, Pastor. That's for sure. A lot of cracks, a lot of mars. But my way was 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 not willingly, but now it's just total surrender. Just wherever you lead me, Lord, and I, I, I'll, I'll go, I'll go, I'll do it, I do it. So, you know, my testimony is many, sometimes God breaks us to make us. We hear that little saying, but some of us that is very true. He breaks us to make us all over again. And um, that was my journey, Pastor, one of my journeys. It was many, but I'll share the short version of it. Um, that he took my gift to give it back to me again for, uh, for a purpose, for Amen. a reason. Amen. Yeah. Thank, thank you for sharing your testimony of how, how God made you ready and how we went through, went through brokenness. Father, we thank you for Reverend Sharon Watson. We thank you for her testimony of how you worked through a hard situation in her life to bring her to the doorstep of willingness to your will, to your way, oh God. We just pray your continued blessings over her ministry, her walk with you, oh Father. Thank you for her example and her testimony. We pray that you would make us all ready to be yes. to your will and walk in your way. Amen. 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 So much for your testimony. Praise God for you. And